All right. Uh, hey guys. Uh, this week's show. Uh, we're just gonna be. Again, we kind of have a, a slow week, so we're gonna be talking about uh, some new stuff coming out from us. We got a bunch of mail to answer, and a potential crack in the Mystic Forge code involving how to get precursors for a very minimal investment patented by this guy right here. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll we'll get into it. Oops. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 94th, close to 100, episode of the COT Podcast, a Guild Wars 2 podcast for fans, by fans. Uh, I am Lagwin, in case you didn't tell by the thing written under my name. The thing written under me, rather, not my name. Uh, and I am joined by the lovely but slightly sick Son. Hi. How you doing? I have a cold, and, and I want to <laughs> remove my nose off my face. Now, I didn't know she had a cold when we started talking podcast stuff, but she's nuts, and she decided to come do this anyway, so we hope that you appreciate that. You'd better. <laughs> um... And I had uh, the perfect meme for today, but I couldn't find the picture. And if you're out there, Citrus Robot, it was you. Uh, you put together that picture a long time ago. Like, oh god, when was it? Let's see if I can find out when you posted. It was one of your old school watching us live and cropping uh, like something that happened during the show to make a meme out of it. You did this on July 11th, 2013, so almost a full year ago. You grabbed that picture of Casey, kind of like this, for the uh, for once has shoutouts, internet dies. I need that image if you still have it, because I wanted to make that today's meme for the, uh, the lag in the ladies, which we'll talk more about if you guys are unfamiliar, that'll be coming out next week. Um... She had a lovely, lovely Caseyism, and it's just <laughs> meme worthy. Uh, and I don't want to say it now because I might butcher how it was said, and it was just oh, uh, the giggles, giggles for days. Yeah. Um. So. Because that show is so serious already. It, it's the most of of serious. Uh. So. Anyway. Uh, so Citrus, if you're out there listening, please send me that image. And if any of you guys have ever made any memes with any of our faces of any kind, please send them to me so that I can get just all of just the static images to then make whatever, uh, whatever memes we need. Um, but, uh, again, uh, if you're listening to us on iTunes, 
which have been pretty good. I think we're completely up to date with everything on iTunes. And uh, you'd like to watch us live, you can come check it out here at uh, twitch.tv slash chronicles of Tyria every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, although sometimes we do shows on Saturday, but we try to give you a, at least a week's or more than a week's notice if we know that's going to be happening. Um, you know what? I'm going to come out and say it right now. The show that would be scheduled on the 3rd of July, we're just going to not have a show that week. I'm just going to say it right now. That's two months away. Not It's more than two months away. We're not doing a show that week. We're taking a break. Okay. I'm American. It's the 4th of July. I'm going to be away Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so we'll just take a break and have a week off. I know that's... I don't really give you those, so... You get that, nope. Son. Congratulations. Yay! It's Canada Day, that's why. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So that's perfect. Look at that. Yeah, we're that weird country that just was all like, Hey, can we can we be solo too? And and they were like, yeah, sure. Because yeah. you said please. <laughs> so, yeah, he asked nicely. And then they said, okay. Um, but anyway, uh, so... That's obviously not anywhere in the near future, but I'll put it out there now, just in case the time comes and people are like, you didn't give us enough warning. I'll be like, check episode 94. We gave you two months. <laughs> um, I did recently get the information on how to look up iTunes reviews, and I just I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Like I wanted to do it ahead of time, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it during the show, so I think I may just skip that and we'll I'll cycle through and and pull up all of the iTunes uh if there's been any iTunes reviews and if you have been watching on iTunes and giving us five stars or one star or you know trolling us whatever I will promise to read your comments now that I know how to go about getting them uh so be on the lookout for that next week um all right we did have uh, a decent amount of mail uh from a handful of people from a handful of different uh different yeah. mediums so um, our mail bag was quite full yeah we've been, from what i've seen yeah and it's been going up lately and and thank you guys for that especially on these weeks where we're kind of in between content of any kind so yeah um, we need you know we need Something. stuff to talk about yeah uh, <laughs> i mean we can have short shows it's not you know not a bad thing um but anyway, and let me... sorry for the sniffles. I try to keep them to a minimum. Ah, but, a... yeah, just sorry. It's all good. It comes with the territory. Uh, so, email number one is from Clob. I just finished watching the first episode of Lagging the Ladies. The little bit of game time I have had lately, uh, or lately has been dominated by Dark Souls 2, but I am looking forward to following you all around on my brand new NG. Do you have a scheduled time set for grouping up for this series? Looking forward to your next upload. Uh, well, now that I have, it's actually been released, and we have episodes filmed. We're kind of staggering the uh, the releases of the episodes so that we're kind of have like a one week buffer, and that may go away if you know we have to miss a week or something like that, which is fine. Um, but currently, we are recording at let's see, it would be. 9 to somewhere in the 9 to 9 30 range p.m. Eastern Time on Mondays. That's when we record. Um, and if you watched the last episode and the episode that'll be coming out next week, you'll know that we're still running around Caledon Forest and the Grove and things like that. So if you want to come follow around with us, obviously you can't go into the personal story instances with us, but if you want to roll around and, and complete Caledon Forest as we go through it, do jumping puzzles and, and the like, you're obviously welcome to do so. Or whatever else we get distracted doing. Yeah, uh, I mean, the first episode would have been kind of rough if you were following us, because we just sat around and interviewed people while we waited for Casey to show up again. Uh, yeah. But, you know. But we did have a follower. We did. Yeah. Uh, and and shout name. out to her whose name escapes me right now. It's it was a miracle like Bri I remember my own. Brioni, Brian, I don't remember. Yeah, I know it, I know yeah, it yeah. looked a lot like Brony, and that's why I remember it. Of um, course, that's why you would remember it. Well, you know, I thought maybe it was a pun, whatever. whatever. You just do your, do your little doodles. Thank I'm you. doodling. Um, uh, do you want to read the next one, or you want to keep doodling? Yeah, I'll read it. Okay. I really uh, want to read this one. Yeah, I figured. 
<laughs> this one's off of Facebook from Devlin Barry. I want to thank Chronicles of Tyria for this comic they had on their site. If you know anything about MMORPGs, this will make you laugh. And if you don't, just ask why it's so funny, and I will try to explain when I am done laughing. Thank you very much. Yes, this it's was... really awesome to get this kind of feedback. This was in reference to the sixth sixth issue, which was the uh, the new the feature pack issue. Oh, <laughs> that was yeah. what it was in reference to. So uh, that is... that one was my dream. I had a dream, literally, and that was my dream. I it was a weird dream. Well, uh, Alicardolina is here watching us in the chat, and she said Brioni, B-R-I-O-N-Y. See, it was. It was almost just like Brony, just with an oh. I in there. See, that th was an easy association. But anyway, um, so we did get a bunch of comments on YouTube, and I'm going to kind of group one of the one comment, or one comment from, actually, a couple comments from Twitter and one comment from YouTube, just because... Um, I recently, and again, we'll talk about this in a little in further in depth. I recently, and by recently, I mean yesterday, I put out a video where it was just something I kind of thought of doing. I wanted to waste all of my Mystic Forge Stones. For those of you who don't know what a Mystic Forge Stone is or don't have any, they're an item you can buy in the gem store. You can get them from completing, you can get them out of Black Lion chests, a bunch of different ways. Um, they basically take the place of an item when you put stuff in the Mystic Forge. So, they essentially count as a random item. So, as, if, as you know, if you put four of the same type of item, like four great swords in the Mystic Forge, you will get a great sword back out of the Mystic Forge. Um, if you put in four exotics, you'll get an exotic. If you put in four rares, you'll get a rare. And you have a 20% chance of getting the higher level. So, that only works up to exotic. So, if you put in four rares, there's a 20% chance you'll get an exotic. Um, with exotics, you're only ever going to get exotics. Uh, and essentially, the Mystic Forge Stone takes the place of one of those, but it also randomizes what you get out of there. So, uh, I had this theory, and I decided, well, let me try putting a bunch of stuff in the Mystic Forge, and I want to get rid of these Mystic Forge Stones. I don't like seeing them in my bank, it just bothers me. So I'm going to get rid of them. So I decided, let me take rares, and I'm going to take rare... The lowest quality rare things that you can put in the Mystic Forge, which so happen to be leather boots and, like, trinkets, like necklace trinkets. And I put two of one and one of the other in a Mystic Forge stone in, and that'll randomize what you get out, and you can get weapons, you can get armor, you can get trinkets, um, and then, or you can get exotics, obviously, because it could upgrade. So I just said, let me try this, and just for fun, let me stream it. Okay, first two minute, two minutes and 50 seconds into the stream, I get a precursor, and I lose my mind live on the internet. You can watch it. It's on the COT YouTube channel. So, and then I go through and I do that with the rest of them. So I just thought it was just crazy, right? Then I get this comment from Urs Muller on both Twitter and on YouTube. Congrats, smiley face and a thumbs up. Addendum, thank you so much for your nice vid. It worked for me as well. Invested 40 stones uh, on the Mystic Forge and the same rares you chose, and I got the Hunter. So I got the precursor for the pistol, the Chaos Gun. She got the precursor for uh, the rifle, the, uh, the Predator. Then, just now, and again, this happened yesterday, this is 24 hours later, I just got one from Sushi Geisha on Twitter. So, thanks to Lagwin and Chronicles of Tyria, I just got my first precursor within two minutes of trying, and from looking at her inventory on Twitter, it looks like, and again, guys, you don't have to use leather boots and, like, necklaces. It, it was just what I picked because they were the cheapest. You don't have to use those. But that's what she used, and she got Rotgort's Flame or whatever, the legend, the precursor for the torch. She got that in two minutes of trying. I got it in two minutes of trying. Urz Muller got it within uh, 40 rares, which sounds about like, uh, or 40 stones sounds about like two minutes of trying if you're rel relatively quick at it. So again, I'm not saying outright 
that this is a definite thing. Like, you will have an increased chance of getting a precursor. But, three people that have tried it, I don't know how many others have, so please post up how many times you've tried it if you have. If you've got anything, let us know. And by us, I mean Chronicles of Tyria, or me. Three people within 24 hours using relatively the same recipe within under three minutes of trying all received precursors of different varying values. I mean, the precursor Chaos Gun, that sold for uh, 500 gold for me last night. I know the Hunter sells for about 700 gold. I don't know what the Torch sells for, but uh, if anybody's in-game watching live, they can tell me. But all I'm going to say is if you've got Mystic Forge Stones in the bank, and you've got, say you've been piling up rare trinkets and rare armor, or you've got some gold to spare, give it a try. I mean, what's it going to hurt? We've seen what the payout can be. At the very least, you know... You get rid of your Mystic Forge Stones, you get your Mystic Forge user daily, if it's a daily, and maybe you get some good exotics or skins that you like. Uh, so, I would say give it a and, try. And do it soon, before they patch this? In case it was a bug. It may be a, I, I heard eight months ago, someone say, like, I think that there's an increased chance of getting precursor someone said like i think there might be an increased chance of getting mystic forge stone and basically all the research that anybody had ever done which was barely any they just kind of were like no that puts more rng in your rng how could that be better <laughs> so i don't know guys i really don't but the evidence is starting to, to stack up so perhaps because no one ever uses mystic forge stones actually i should mention this too uh, about a year ago, Brahms threw in a bunch of random items and a Mystic Forge Stone and got Zap, the precursor for the Legendary Sword. Or, so, that's four instances I can think of, of precursors coming out of the Mystic Forge with Mystic Forge Stones. Um, so again, maybe it's a bug and something happened with the most recent patch. If you recall the feature pack, they did say they updated... Um, there were updates made to the Mystic Forge, but it wasn't supposed to affect Precursors at all. And maybe it didn't. But, as we know in the past, sometimes when a patch goes live, if you think about Halloween season, like the very first Halloween, the, uh, the Labyrinth had a... All the enemies had a 50% chance to drop exotic weapons. Like, it was just a screw-up in the, the coding. And, like, there was that time where, you know, unidentified dyes were dropping like crazy, and they were down to a silver on the trading post. I mean, again, don't say and go waste your money, but if, you got, if you're really bored and you want to try a gamble, give it a try. And please, please, please send me your results. Because I want to try to get it, uh, you know, if you go like, I tried this with 500 Mystic Forge Stones and I got nothing, well, then obviously it's not... I mean, I didn't say it was a sure thing, but that's a pretty extensive try. And if you didn't get anything, then I guess it really is RNG, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, but anyway, sorry, I got way off on a tangent there. Uh, mm -hmm. So do you want to read uh, Levi M? Okay. Also from YouTube, um, well done, Legwin. Looks like the legendary won't be too hard for you to get. Nice to share this epic moment with us. I would love to see more GW2 vids from you guys. Gonna ch go check out Lag and the Ladies now. You should. It's uh, fun. And I didn't delete the other one. I will put an annotation on the screen to link you to the other one. Um, I didn't realize that the editing software I was using was defaulting to like super low res. Uh, and all this stuff oh. is recorded in 720p or higher. But... The default, which I didn't even notice, like was like a little button I had to click. The default was uh, record in uh, 480 or 360, or, or produce it in that quality. So anyway, that's oh, fixed. Okay. Uh, Alaska says Lagwin's Angels. Lol, that intro. Um, thank you. That's kind of was my inspiration was Charlie's Angels. So uh, I love that intro. It is. And the funny thing is, is I swear to God, it's more serious than the actual show ended up being. 
Yeah, well, you know, I if which, I could have... Which, if you've seen the, the starting, is saying something. Mm-hmm. If I could have had, like, the freeze frame, like, go, like, and, like, go out, like, the frame in, like, multiple rainbow colors, like Charlie's Angels, I would have done it. But that's <laughs> way outside of my realm of editing capabilities. Uh, and I kind of just answered, and I answered him on YouTube, Michael Ramirez, about why such a low uh, bit rate. Again, that's fixed, and it won't happen going forward. And the same thing actually happened to the 20th Let's Lore video as well. So uh, that'll be fixed going forward. Do um, you want to read the one from Robovin? Uh, that opening uh, laughed my ass off so good. And then Ming Tao lag you pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, guys. And oh, and I should have mentioned this before. Alejandro from Mexico. Uh, I'm watching the Mystic Forge Stone experiment. I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of that actually. Like. I hate you, RNG Jesus loves you, you're such a jerk, yada yada yada, all in good fun. Uh, and oh, also a shout out to uh, Tori G, who hit me up in-game, that was like, hey, I just want to give you a heads up, my walls of text will be much shorter in-game, but I wanted to say hey, so thank <laughs> you for that. Um, oh, and I did buy my precursor last night, so one step closer to the dreamer. Sure. And, and get this, and again, I, I, I don't want to feel like I'm bragging, because I'm really not. But I said to myself, okay, I know Matt Visual just put out a video about how he was trying to get all his Mystic Clovers out of the Forge, right? So, yeah. I'd been making Clovers every so often, mostly trying to get, not Clovers, but get the Tier 6 materials instead. Uh, right. So, I had six Mystic Clovers from the past. And then in the past couple of weeks, I'd managed to make 30. So I got 10 out each time. So I was up to, uh, or 4, so I was up to 46. And then I got 2 for completing my PvP track. When you complete a PvP track all the way to the end, it uh, gives you 2 Mystic Clovers. So that's another way to get them if you don't want to try you know, your luck in Mystic Forge. So then last night I said, well, I did have pretty good luck with the Mystic Forge earlier today. Obviously, I got a precursor. So let me try again for my Mystic Clovers. So I get like a couple of tier 6 materials, and then I get 10 Mystic Clovers. And I go again. Then I get 10 Mystic Clovers. Then I go again. And I get another 10 Mystic Clovers. So I got 30 in a row in 3 tries, which put me at 78 Mystic Clovers. So I'm done with that. Now it's just buying T6 mats. And uh, once I get 250 of each T6 material, then uh, it's, it's, it's legendary time. You're a monster. Yeah, well. Also, if anybody wants to send me tier 6 materials in game. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you, like, do it, but if you want to, I'll take them. And I will shout out to you on the show. Uh, but obviously... Corey, was that laugh out loud? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I, how crazy would that be? I'm sure there's, like, super famous YouTube Guild Wars celebrities that get stuff all the time, but not this guy. Um, so That's please don't... You don't need it. No, I don't. I, I have RNG on my side. I did come up with the god of RNG, RNG, which is Thomas Engine, who created the Mystic Forge. But that's, that's another story. God of Engineers, the god of RNG. We're getting into a whole story time that I don't, we don't have time to talk about. <laughs> Before, uh, let me just do this real quick. Um, last time on the show, it was on a Saturday, and people heard my dogs barking upstairs. And they, yeah. they said, please put your puppies on the podcast. And I was trying to get them yelling up to the dogs to try to get them to come downstairs. They did not want to do that. Oh, wonderful. Facebook temporary messages are temporarily unavailable. What's that about, Facebook? Um, text my wife to bring the dogs down. So anyway, what were you going to say? Um... Is I going to say something? I don't know. You're, I have no idea. It's a uh, miracle I remember my own name sometimes. Wow. You're really out of it, huh? Uh, a little bit. It's... I don't do sinus colds very well. They mess up with my everything. Mm. But, well... 
Facebook. It makes for very amusing listening to me try to do things. I, instead of asking someone at work today if they wanted their stuff in a bag, I asked them if they wanted their stuff in a book. Well, I mean... If they wanted to carry their books out in a book. I mean, that's a thing, right? <laughs> I mean, if it's a big book. <laughs> uh, let me yell upstairs to my wife. Hang on. Let me, so you guys don't hear me yelling my out loud. Hmm. La 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 la. la Alright. Sorry for yelling, even though you guys didn't hear it. Um, we didn't hear anything. That's good. Uh, so, everybody wanted to see my puppies. I have COT Dogcast, which I almost named this COT Dogcast. <laughs> but uh, my, my two dogs will be. I, I, it was. You guys asked for this, so here we go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh. So, Buffy, you gotta look over there. Look at, oh, hi. So, uh, <laughs> and there's my wife. So here's, this is Buffy. This, uh, the brown one here, this is Buffy. This is, she's my little baby. And right here in black and white, that's Xander. So, you know, these are my two dogs. You guys wanted to see them on the show. Here they are. <laughs> uh, Okay, you can put Xander down. He's freaking out. All right, <laughs> run away, puppies. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Thanks, son. Um, so there you go, guys. That was my dogs. Uh, you'll sometimes see them running around in the background, but uh, so, all right. Uh, let's move on. Um, yep. new comic issue came out as it does uh every single Wednesday. Yep. Um, there it is in the chat for you guys to see. Uh, and I'm glad you guys like my puppies. I appreciate it. Hey. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, nice. I don't know why that's not working. Alright, um, but anyway. Uh, again, we've mentioned it several times already, but there is a brand new series uh, put out by Chronicles of Tyria, re releasing weekly on Tuesdays is Lag and the Ladies, a show where I am joined by four lovely ladies of Chronicles of Tyria, fellow Guild Wars 2 players, some whom you know, some who you will have been hearing for the very first time. Uh, obviously, I am joined by Sawn, who is my yep. basically my everything right now. You just yep, my artist, my co-host, my my just all around COT slash Guild Wars buddy who helps yep. me with everything. Um and I can't thank her enough for all she does. So Uh you're very welcome. Um I'm also joined Do by I get a raise now? From nothing to, to nothing times two. You get double. <laughs> you get double what you're getting paid right now. Yay Uh I will try to channel some of my RNG to you. How about that? Like one percent uh, RNG awesome. boof. Like I'll I just give you a boon. One percent RNG buff. Um, that would be huge, actually, <laughs> given your level of RNG. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, I'm also again joined by the lovely, talented Alicardolina, who you'll often see here in the chat watching us live. Um, the owner of Project Tyria, which, if you have been keeping track of Twitter, uh, got a huge. Um, was trying to tweet her out everywhere, all over the Twitterverse there. Uh, and then, miraculously, you know, she got this awesome tweet by Ruby from ArenaNet that was like, go check out Al Cardellina stuff. It's awesome. And it is. Um, if you're a player of Guild Wars 1, if you're not a player of Guild Wars 1, um, and you want to see, like, oh, man, this is so cool. Diesa Plateau, what's that like? I wonder if that was in Guild Wars 1. Well, wonder no longer. Because Alu has the answer and lovely documented pictures for you to see. Um, I am joined by Casey as well, who many of you will remember as a previous host of uh, COT Podcast. Um, she also was a previous writer on the Chronicles of Tyria main website. Um, and she's kind of gone off to just, you know, live with the fairies in Australia and do her own thing. 
Um, but she does actually represent Chronicles of Tyria every other Thursday, which is unfortunate because it's scheduled at the same time as this show, so I could tell you to go watch it live, but then you wouldn't be watching us live. And I'm selfish, so... But anyway, it's uh, she does a show with um, Sitting on a Couch podcast, which uh, is a fairly popular podcast, and they are the ones that have like all of the sp- uh, profession-specific podcasts, like Mesmerized for Mesmers and... Um, you know, I don't remember. That's the only one the, mem- uh, the name sticks with me. But uh, and also with MMORPG.com. So it's a pretty pretty high profile uh, show, and she kind of covers the lore side and the PVE side of Guild Wars 2, uh, and and is representing that for Chronicles of Tyria. So that's every other Thursday at 9 p.m., which I believe is actually happening right now. So if you want to do two Twitch streams, I think she may be live. So you go do that. Um, so, and then I'm joined by, it's a May, but I call her Amy, and everybody else calls her Amy, just because we're all Americanizing, Englishizing, her can, giggles were. Canadianizing her name, uh, we just call her Amy, but uh, she is someone that's fairly new to the scene, uh, although you may recognize her brother's name is Pirate, who does a lot of the gold making videos for us. Uh, so she's joining us, and she is just a giggle monster. Giggles all the time, carries around boulders, gives them names. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just a good time. It's just four, or I'm sorry, it's just five good friends playing Guild Wars 2 to check out all the new updates to the game, uh, and kind of try to play through it with that new player mentality, although ignore what our armor looks like, because it's all transmuted and it doesn't look new. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, you didn't say anything about pretending to be new players just new characters no i know but i'm trying to i'm in my brain i'm trying to go like play it obviously as a guild wars player but then try to think about it also as a new player like oh if i was a new player this would be really frustrating or this would be awesome because i wouldn't know any better um you know but uh uh, yeah we'll get to that soon i'm sure yeah so if you uh if you're looking for a Guild Wars 2 Let's Play series or just want to, uh, you know, you want to come play along with us, Mega Servers should allow that to be a possibility now, theoretically. Yeah. Um, you can check out Lag and the Ladies. It's uh, it's about an hour long. Just a good time. Lots of laughs. Lots of puns. Um, lots of meme-worthy yeah. things. Lots of t-shirt-worthy things. I'm working on those, too. Um, but anyway, uh, this is something more recent. Um... This Sunday, so that would be the third? Fourth. Uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, or server time, um, but 2 p.m. Eastern time, is uh, Chronicles of Tyria is hosting a World vs. World event. Uh, we have some pretty uh, World v. World fanatical people, excuse me, and they want to run around in, uh, in World vs. World, so we're going to meet, I believe... I don't think we actually picked a location. I'm going to say Holbrek, because it's not a super populated area of the game. Yeah. Uh, at least that... I don't know. Have you been in there? Has Mega Servers changed that at all? Not that I can recall. I might have passed through, but... Okay. Well, there'll be updates for sure. It's either going to be Lion's Arch or Holbrek. And we're just going to kind of all group up together. Uh, a bunch of COT people that are going to be there. Um, and you guys are obviously, if you're a Tarnished Coast member, you're obviously welcome to join. And then we're going to pick a world versus world map and just go into there and just have world versus world shenanigans. Uh, I may stream it. <laughs> I may stream it for those that can't join because they're on a different server. Or if you're sneaky and you're either Jade Quarry or Blackgate and you want to know what our tactics are, I guess you could watch the stream and then counter us. But whatever, that's irrelevant. Why would you point that out? Because I'm a nice guy. I I, I don't want to alienate people. Uh, But anyway... By giving uh, them horrible ideas? Yeah, you know, I'm an equal opportunity. And I'm the sick one who's supposed to be making the stupid comment. It's fine. I don't know if... I think Blackgate's too busy QQing over a 2v1 to come after (laughs) uh, COT. Sorry, Blackgate. (laughs) Um, but yeah, so if you would love, if you like World vs. World, if you're not, if you're kind of intimidated by World vs. World and you just want to 
roll around with a group of uh, people that are just I don't I don't even know what we're doing. We might if we get enough people we could zerg, but we'll probably be running around taking keeps and kind of doing a havoc group. Um, if you're not familiar mm -hmm. with what that is, uh, we'll be doing we're putting out a whole new series that's going to deal with all about world versus world. So be on the lookout for that. Oh my God, there's forum candy here. I didn't even expect that. I didn't even see. Yeah, I was looking because I'm like, okay, it's been so freaking long since we got the feature patch. Surely we would have heard something from Arena Net. Mm -hmm. So I popped into the forums very briefly, and I found this one post, which I'll leave like to posting up. Okay. And it's basically just a single player um, discussing the living stories, unknown release, um... I think it was a she happened to find a concept splash off of one of the artists' um, website. Um, it's no longer up there, but she did attach it to her post um, of what kind of thing that we might be looking at. Um, it kind of plot-wise, it's all pretty much stuff we figured already. More to Moth going deeper into Brisbane and eventually Maguma. Um, but she did make a point that we're probably awaiting the Chinese release, um, just because it's avoiding spoilers, because mm -hmm. it is the international internet. True. And um, if we start a story and then China comes in halfway through, that's going to be awful on part of like for the Chinese playgroup, because they're not going to have any idea what's going on or anything like that. So that's yeah. probably what we're stuck waiting on. Uh, it'd just be really nice if we could hear something from Arena Net. Um, yeah. I checked the dev tracker, and it's predominantly um, dealing with like uh, user requests and user request queues. So whether it's for the refunds or for the abnormally high amount of account hacking going on. Yeah, really. So like seriously, people. Keep an eye on your accounts, maybe even change your password to something more secure or just change in general because it seems to be a sun spike in yeah. uh, hacked accounts. Yeah, I, 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 I heard about that. Some pretty, uh, main, I'll call them mainstream, but like pretty well known players in, in various areas have gotten uh, hacked quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Alec Cardolina points out that they basically, the Chinese basically have a different game from us. Uh, maybe they'll have the living story started over. Um, for, again, I guess just to mention it, if you are on, if you didn't know, um, it launched today, actually. The, uh, oh, it Chi did? Yes, it came out today. The Chinese version of the game launched today. Okay, because I thought I had seen a pa post about it, but I couldn't find the, where I had seen it, so I figured maybe I just imagined it. No, I think uh, uh, Blue, who does the, um, what's it called, who is a shoutcaster for Guild Wars 2, he's shoutcasts, uh, he's actually shoutcasting the Tournament of Legends, which, if you don't know, the North American version of the Tournament of Legends is coming out, uh, it, that's actually happening this Saturday, starts, oh, I want to say 10 a.m., but that might be wrong, I don't remember the start time, uh, but again, it is a chance to win a precursor. It's a chance to win llama finishers. Chance to win gems. Uh, definitely check it out. Just for watching, you don't have to be involved in the tournament to win. You can get stuff just for watching and paying attention. And, you know, they might say type hashtag precursor in the chat, and then you know you're entered for a chance to win. Um, but he's actually right now five minutes ago streaming uh, Chinese SPVP right now. Oh, crazy! So. No, so I'm actually going to retweet that, so if you guys don't follow Blue. Um, also, I guess I should mention, if you like the Mistpedia page, uh, the they do the weekly ESL SPVP Cup. Um, that, if you like their Facebook page, they are giving away uh, gems every day this week leading up to the North American Tournament of Legends. So you actually just have to go and, I think, like their page... And comment. Uh, Al Cardolina just posted. I'll repost what she just posted because I'm silly. Uh, just posted <laughs> this, and I did see this image earlier today, showing off, uh, you know, 
Anet devs with uh, white and red dragons. Um, and there was, and it's actually not even data mined anymore. Ali, you mentioned, well, it, it is, but it isn't. Um, there was a red dragon, or a mystic dragon it was called, that was data mined. If you go into the game and look in your collect collections tab, scroll all the way to the bottom and look at your mini pets, it's in there. You can mouse over at the mystical dragon mini pet. It's in there, and so are some of the other mini pets that were data mined a few weeks ago. Um, they're all okay. they're all shown in there. You can't preview them because they're mini pets, but they're there. So presumably well, guess, it's coming out. Yeah, I guess that confirms what that model was. <laughs> well, yeah. There, the thing is, it showed up twice. It showed up once at like it, it could have been either one or the other. I think maybe it could have been both. It's definitely a mini, and it's not like a fluke data mine that won't ever show up in the game, like the paper bag masks or the precursor scavenger hunt that came out like forever ago. Yeah. Um, this is in the game. Like it, you can go look at it. Like how sometimes you yeah. get the PvP stuff would show up in the PvP locker ahead of time. Um, yeah. This is in the collections tab, so uh, you can feel free to go check that out, and you can you know mouse over the name, see the little icon. And see any of the other minis that haven't been released. Um, so yeah, I would imagine maybe next week, if we don't get any content, which I assume we're, we're kind of all assuming we're not going to get any new content. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll get that as a, like, congratulations for the launch in China. You can buy a mystical, like, Chinese-style dragon mini pet, you know, and finisher. Or right, maybe. Right. Um, next up, we have. And this is probably going to be our last thing. We kind of there's not hasn't been a lot, really. What happened to my craft corner? Oh, you're right. Uh, I accidentally deleted it. Apparently. Did you or did me? Because that looks like me. Oh, that's probably you. That's probably me going. Why won't my canvas rotate? Yeah, that uh, was you. All right. Uh, so. All time for our craft corner. I'm working on getting nice images for when we transition here, and Son just posted it. I'm gonna post it again because I'm silly. Ah. That's I okay. Even, I don't even know what it is. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> Let's put this up right here. This is from Blind Rat here on Deviant Art. I got one foot. You got one ass. Let's do math. <laughs> Uh, that is a pretty awesome hairstyle as well. Unfortunately, I don't think that's, it's not available in game, is it? That hairstyle? Or uh, that looks like the dread, so it's a little creativity based off of the dreads. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. I'm a fan. So if you like this, uh, check out Blind Rat on, uh, DeviantArt. Come back to us here. Alrighty. So, uh, all right. So, kind of our last thing that we're going to talk about today is stuff that came out in the gem store earlier this week. So, uh, this was the release of the much anticipated llama finisher, which again is something you can also win, like I mentioned, uh, in. Just by watching the Tournament of Legends, you have a chance to win a Llama Finisher. Um, there's been a lot of hashtag Llama Prophecies. That <laughs> was like the that hashtag that was used all over the place. That uh, Syref, who's the other shoutcaster along with Blue, who's doing the Tournament of Legends, he kept saying that. I don't know when it started, but hashtag Llama Prophecies uh, is a big one. It's trending. It was trending a lot over the weekend on Twitter. Uh, but then there was hashtag llama intensifies as well was another. <laughs> um, so, uh, what else came out? The mini orange kitten came out in the gem store. Have you seen mm -hmm. one of these in game? I haven't, I don't think I've seen I one. haven't seen them in game. I popped in ever so briefly because when I saw your link there, cause I was like, oh, free Lion King! And then I'm like, oh right, I picked that up last week. Yeah, I got excited for that, too. Yeah, uh, in the forums, I don't remember where I saw it, but basically that was noted just because Anet noticed that pe 
some people hadn't picked theirs up, so that's why it was brought up in this post-it. Yeah, uh, free Black Lion Kia in the trading post. Um, and I believe the mini orange kitten, I think it looked to me from some of the other pets that were coming out, this is basically the answer to the orange tabby cat that you could get. Um, the orange tabby cat that you could get from the Hall of Monuments. I imagine mm. this is kind of so that if you didn't have Guild Wars 1 or Hall of Monuments, you could still have an orange kitten. It's not the cat, but, you know, this is so you could have that. Because um, it looked like some of the other ones they were giving out were kind of similar looking. Right. Um, what else was there? Uh, the And kind of like we predicted last week, uh, the Mad King's outfit has made a return to the gem store. So far they've been kind of cycling back through now that these outfits are usable in combat. These outfits have kind of been making... We had the Winter outfit, and last week we had the, uh, the Executioner's outfit. Now this week the Mad King's outfit is on sale in the gem store. I'm going to predict yeah. next week the Bloody Prince outfit. What do you think? Yeah, well, there, there isn't anything left, is there? I don't... Not that it isn't currently in the gem store, like the cook outfit and the... Uh, yeah. The um, sailor outfit, I think? Uh, pirate, you mean? Pirate, yeah. Huh. Al Carolina says the kitten is actually bigger than the tabby cat. Huh. <laughs> not sure that makes a whole lot of sense, but all right. <laughs> um... So yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna it's kind of a short show. There hasn't been a lot of news coming out. Um, well, there's the baby, there's the spring mini kit but that's that been was a, in the gym store. But I think that actually may have left the gym store. Didn't that come out last? No. Did that come out last week? No, it was still there today. I'm pretty sure we. I think we might have covered it when it came out last week, though. Oh, maybe you did. I don't know where I was. Well, I'm pretty sure you were here. But, but was <laughs> I paying attention? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> actually, I mentioned the Avian mini pack last week. Okay, yeah. Well, because there's a baby animal mini pack. Did that one is that that one just come out? I think so. It's got five baby animals in it. Hmm. I didn't even see that. So, but I don't think it's the same baby animals as last year, though. Because huh. they didn't really promote that anywhere. Now that I think about it, okay. Alu says she's only seen it today. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't come out with the feature pack. It didn't come out last week, and it didn't come out on Tuesday. So they must have just kind of slipped that in without really telling anybody. So I guess there's a spring mini pet. Maybe it's supposed to come out next week, and they accidentally released it early. Um, yeah, like they did the lion key. Yep. Because it's 1600 so it's quite expensive. Wow, yeah. That's no joke. Or at least that's what I think I read. Yeah, okay, Alu confirms. Yeah, so... Um, you can go get your mini pack probably a little bit early. But yeah, I think that's going to be be it for us, guys. Uh, we don't really... Like I said, we didn't really have a whole lot. It's been kind of a slow week as far as news goes, and we don't want to drag this on. But if you do go try my Mystic Forge... Uh, recipe with the Mystic Forge stones and rares, uh, please let me know what your results are. You can send the results to hosts at chroniclesinterior.com. You can Facebook them, YouTube them, hit me up in game. It's just Lagwin, like it's, you see it on the screen. Uh, and let me know how you did. Hit me in Twitter, Chron Chronicles Ateria, um, or at my personal uh, Twitter account. You know, just let us know. Um, and so on, would you like, I think we kind of figured it out, but would you like to describe your Dougal for today? Guess not. I think I just heard her mute her mic. So. All right. on. What? Can you not hear me? No, I couldn't hear you at all. Oh. I can hear you now. Apparently. Okay. I'm sick. Yes. Yeah, uh, it's Cyan Thorborn being sick. All right. I don't know why she looks kind of happy. I think she's just high on meds. 
Tyrion meds. Apparently they make you happy. Um, well, I know what Neo Citrin does to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, alright guys, um, that's it for us, for the 94th, I, I may be jumping into game after this, maybe doing some PvP or something, uh, so if you want to join me, just, uh, just hit me up in game, I'll be around. Um, oh. But anyway, for the uh, the 94th episode of the Chronicles of Tyria podcast, I'm Lagwin. I'm Thawne. And she's very sick. And we <laughs> will see you next time. Uh...